Okay, let's do the five Tibetan rites. Um, a little bit fast. This is like the practice when you don't have a lot of time. And this, this is basically my, my basic practice if I'm in a hurry or, you know, like I have to bring a child to school. Five times Tibetan rites, a little bit fast, uh, the advanced way with two rounds of TT10 breathing. Now, just follow along. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming you know about the five Tibetan rites advanced already, you know, because you have watched videos before. So let's just go ahead. First, stand still. Little bit bent knees, one deep breath. Arms up, spin seven times right ways as fast as you can. And just if you become dizzy, you know, like afterwards, and you're like, oh, oh, dizzy, a little bit too much, immediately sit on your knees, all right? I don't want you to fall down, please. Take care of yourself. Here we go, seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Deep breath. Okay, now Tibetan right number two. Hands on the ground. Split second. Um, faster, sooner, your head up, legs all the way back, seven times, on the breath in, legs on the ground relaxed, four, Last one. Now, if I'm in a hurry, I don't take this real deep breath in, but I just breathe out very long to relax. Tibetan right, number three. Hands in your hips, squeeze your butt a bit, all the way back, open your heart. Breathe in, excuse me. Chin on the chest first, relax, breathe out, breathe in. Squeeze your butt, drop your head back, breathe out, chin to the chest. Number seven. Breathe out warm and completely relaxed. The button right, number four. Back straight, feet hip width, hands next to your butt. Relax your shoulders. Ready? Here we go. Up, squeeze the butt, head back, down, in between your hands. Number four. Squeeze your butt lightly here. Six. And the last one. Number seven. Quick. Stretch. Breathe out. To left and right. Number five. Toes under you. Shoulders slow. Breathe in here. Look up, shoulders low, look at your feet, butt to the ceiling. Number four. Number five. 
knees to the ground, toes together. I do take time here, three breath. Now, two rounds of TT10. We breathe 10 times in, just follow my guidance, please. 10 times. I always put my hands in front of me because if I get dizzy, you know, you don't want to fall back or sideways. So with your hands in front of you, you, you know, like I really uh, don't pass out, but if you would, you would be safe. All right, always make sure you're safe. Slow down your breathing first, one or two times. Gonna breathe in and out deep ten times. Last one, fully in and everything out. Now breathe in and hold. Breathe out. As much as you want or everything and hold your breath at the end for a moment. Close your eyes, feel. Now we do a breath in and we hold again for 10 counts. Here we go. And breathe out. One more round. Ten times deep in and out. Last one, fully in, everything out. Breathe in and hold. And breathe out and hold. After breathing out, everything. Now, if you can hold your breath longer than, than I, please pause the video. Hold your breath. Shoulders low. Sit straight, squeeze your butt maybe, and then release to straighten your back.
everything out. And breathe out, fully let go. And three more extreme slow breath, and then we are ready. Feel your body. Last deep breath in, as slow as you can. Thank you for the practice. Right, this is it. And um, of course, you know, if you have time for four rounds of breathing, say Wim Hof method, that is better than this. But you know, like some people don't have all the time in the morning. And instead of um, giving up like a 20 minutes breathing practice, this breathing practice was about five minutes. Better do something than nothing, right? Um, what I notice is that because I do this five minute breathing practice in the morning, I become more breath aware through the whole day. And whenever I'm waiting somewhere, I do exactly the same breathing technique. I just make sure, you know, in public spaces that I don't make too much noise. Um, I hope this helped. See you in the next video. Bye bye.